Man, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Big Brother 26. I think we're on episode 29 or 30, either one. Uh, I think it's 29. But yes, last episode, Leah wins the HOH. And guys, don't be sleeping on Leah. Only sleep with Leah. I'm talking to you, Quinn and Joseph. Yes, but anyway, guys, Um, so... We see that Leah decided to nominate Kimo and Rabina. And I said last episode that I think Leah is just doing Chelsea's dirty work. Like, this is exactly what Chelsea wanted. But is she? We're going to see later on this episode that maybe Chelsea is at risk after the veto has been worn by a certain someone. And uh, let's just get into it, man. Angela wins the power of veto, man. Bro, we all thought it was a fluke when she won her HOH. Then we thought it was a fluke when she won her second HOH. Then we thought it was a fluke when they used a veto on her three times. But she won a power of veto. I'm not sure this is a fluke anymore, guys. Angela is a competitor. And I'm not the biggest Angela fan. Hell, I'm not any fan at all. But, bro, when I see someone win and continue to win, it's no fluke. And uh, Angela... You are a good competitor, man. Like, everyone needs to give her her kudos at this point. She's actually a good competitor. Um, so, shout out to Angela. But, uh, yeah. So, she wins the power of veto. And she is telling Kimo that she's going to use it on him without telling him verbatim that she's going to use it on him. And so, Kimo's kind of hopeful, but also not. Because it is Angela. And Angela's very unpredictable. Um... Yes, Chelsea is. Chelsea doesn't want the veto to be used because that she could potentially go up as a replacement as a replacement nominee because she doesn't think Leah would put up Mackenzie, and Leah already made a deal with Cam to not put him on the block. So that only really leaves either Chelsea or Takor as a option as a replacement nominee, and. Leah also won the janky power of veto. So potentially the veto could be used twice and there could be two more new nominees. And Chelsea, I mean, and Leah and Angela talk about this, about using the veto and putting up Chelsea and Takor on the block as the new replacement nominees. This would be a crazy move. I think probably one of the top three craziest moves this season because this season, we've seen a lot of crazy shit happen. But having the U veto used twice at the same time would be up there, though. So, uh, yeah, they talk about that. But the only problem is Leah has to win another competition. Now, I don't know if she has it in her. She already won the HOH. She's won the janky power veto. Maybe she can win this competition so she can use the veto and, uh, and make this crazy move happen. But she was unable to complete this challenge, um, which was basically it was going to be a carnival game. And she had to throw the ball three times. And in those three shots, she has to knock down at least five pins, which she was unable to do one pin. She was un even unable to knock down one pin, unfortunately. But the veto can still be used by Angela. Angela uses the veto on chemo. And so Leah... Decides to put up to core on the block as a replacement nominee. But man, Chelsea was this close to being up on the block if Leah won that competition. She would have been up on the block with the core. But yeah, so now that leaves Rabina and to core on the block. And uh, we're going to find out today, which is Thursday, who is going to go home, guys. I think, hmm, haven't been keeping up with live feed, so I don't know who's in danger. But just from watching this episode... I think they want to core out because she seems to be a stronger threat socially. But we're going to find out in the next episode. Guys, thank you for listening and watching. I'm going to see you in the next episode. It's been a TV and movie podcast. Bless up and peace.